So writing the files in Java is a common task that involves using classes from the java.io package. And there are several ways to write files, including using file writer, buffer writer, and files class. So using the file writer and buffer writer, um, file, file writer is a class for writing character files. And buffer writer is used to write text to a character output stream, um, buffering the characters for efficient writing. Uh, so let's take a look at an example. So here we see uh, we're going to input from the IO class the file writer and the buffer writer, and of course our IO exception if something goes wrong. Um, and we're going to create a file actually from this, and once it already existed, then it'll just write over it. Um, but it'll be example file writer dot text. Um, and we'll save that name there. And the content we're going to put in it is a hello world UI welcome to Java file writer. So we're saving both of these as string variables found in the content. So we're going to do try to do first is we're going to try to create this new file uh, using file writer. Um, and so it's going to create uh, a file writer object so uh, we can write to this file. And buffer writer is going to make it so that we can uh, take that character uh, off the stream and we can put it in there. And so buffer writer has a method known as write that writes out that string. Um, new line will assert a new line. And then we can also just use write to, instead of having a variable, a uh, string variable, we can just type the string we want to put in there ourselves. Okay. And of course, if something were to go wrong, like if we create the file or uh, uh, we're not able to access it, um, then an exception would be done. Okay. Let's take a look at this file right here. So I am going to uh, draw that and it's a file. Um, my uh, file writer. Before I run this one, I want to show you in downloads. That does not exist. That is not there. That does exist right there. That's not there. And let's say uh, Yava. The uh, file right there. You get it for you. There you go. Okay. And now, look at that. It just magically appeared. No, no, it created it. Right, let's take, you want to take a look at it? Let's take a look at it. Hello world, welcome to Java file writing. And this is another line. So exactly what we expect. Okay, cool. Hey, so good. So good. Yeah, all right. So uh, next, we're going to be using files class. So the files class from the java.nio uh, package provides methods to write the files, such as write, <laughs> which writes bytes or lines to a file. So let's take a look at the files class. Right, this one the files right stuff here. So we're going to import from NIO uh, files.files and files.path like we saw before when we were reading. Um, and then we're going to also have the IO section, of course. And then we have a list and range. This one here. Uh, remember, before we needed to, uh, uh, when we were doing the files class in order to uh, read things, where we had to do so in a list of strings. And we write the thing to have that array there. Okay. Uh, we could just send an array list for it. Anyway, um, example files.txt. So, no, I'm just going to say that's where it's going to uh, it's going to create the file in this case because it exists or write over it. Okay. Um, and in it, we're going to have a list of strings, lines, uh, phrase as a list. This one, this one is. So, hello world, welcome to Java. Uh, all right, this is another line. So, it's literally going to put these each on their own line um, because it's going to be um, essentially. You can think of it as how the for each script works. It's going in a for each, um, for each, for each line that's in lines, uh, so to speak. So this is called, you know, this called lines. For each line in lines, uh, write this, you know, write this, and there you go. Right there. Okay. So, um, so we're going to try to write um, to this file. So it's going to get the pass for that file so it knows exactly where to go to write to. Uh, or we're going to create it here. Um, but we're going to try to write to that these lines. So I kind of already explained how that um, writes method works for us in the files class. Okay, so, um, and of course, anything goes wrong, I always have So, well, we want to see it work? Well, let's take a look. Okay, 
the yeah, man. Hells, right? For example, inside of Yava, or in Bali's file folder. So now we're going to Yava. Files. And lo and behold, look what appears now. Examples of files like that. Um, let's open our notes, right? So, let me share with you guys. Good. Hello, world. Welcome to Java File Writing. Bye. Um, all right. Now, Is the last well, let's use the print writer class. The print writer class is another convenient way to write uh, formatted text to a file. So let's take a look at the print writer class. So here we just java.io print writer and it, and it accepts your case in case something is spelled. And it is very important to use this every time because it is possible that it's so, yeah. Um, but here again, we're gonna create a uh, we're having a new file. We're gonna create example print writer Um and we're gonna try to wait for this file. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna on each line we'll tell it how to print. Uh, very similar to what you see in your system that out, this is print line and print print format. We have those same type of methods for print writer. So we can do print line, hello world, print line, work with Java file writing, print line, this is another file, another line, just so you can see uh, how that works. Okay. All right, but if you want to see, you can use uh, print as well on the print. Um, print line, let's put some new line. I'm at this time. Uh, print just keeps going. Okay, but try that. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, cool. And then, of course, catch for the exception. It happens. Um, let's see it in action. Yeah, that's a prisoner right there. Example. Too much Java there, too much. And show you that I'm not doing nothing there. There ain't nothing there. So print that there. Okay. No example print. Okay. But now Java print writer example. And before I hit this, I just have a stupid screen, so I want you to really see. I'm not looking at this. You see that? Not John Cena. You can definitely see it right here. So let's open her up. Let's have to share it. So in summary, file writer and buffer writer. These are efficient for writing characters in Latin to a file. Um, buffer writer is recommended for writing large amounts of data because it reduces the number of I/O operations for buffer. Okay. Um, file class. Um, it provides simple and concise methods to just write the bytes and lines to a file. Print writer class is convenient for writing formatted text to a file. Providing easy use for methods for printing strings and other objects. Um, so, like we saw before, you have your your file reader, buffer reader to do large amounts of things. File writer, uh, uh, buffer writer to do large amounts of things. Your files class to do something very simple, concise, just get straight to the point, write it out, get what you need in there. Um, and then a print writer class, uh, like we have for the scanner class, so that you can be more precise about what, what types you're looking at. And this is um, we'll talk more about how you write. Out things, the formats, um, the types of objects, how they're written in this registry. Okay, so each object has its own advantages depending on the specific needs for of your application. For simple, small scale file writing, print writer file class dot write or sorry file dot write are very convenient. Uh, for large or more complex writing text class, uh, buffer writer is more efficient. And 
Bonne journée à tous.